But what happens if we alter those notes, if we change them? Well, we can change them in two different ways. We can change them by making them higher in pitch, or we can make them lower in pitch. When we make them higher in pitch, it's called sharpening the note, making the note sharp, and we use a number sign to mean sharp. If we make the note lower by half step or by a fret, that's going to be called a flat. And it looks kind of like a B, like a squished up B. Okay, what I'm going to do now is erase this tablature and I'm going to alter these notes and I'm going to, going to see if you can or you're going to see, I'm not checking up on you, you can see now if you know how you would notate this in tablature. So, I'm going to make this E an E flat. I'm going to make this D a D sharp. How about a C sharp? How about, oh, we'll do a G sharp. We'll do an A flat and an F sharp. Now notice that I'm putting the sign, the sharp or the flat sign, before the note and on the same line or space as the note. That's really important. Okay, so right now you can take a look at this, pause, and try to write out the answers for this. And I will tell you right now that the first is a kind of a difficult one. Okay, pause, try it out. Okay, now you're back. So hopefully you have all the right answers and let's go over them right now. Okay, an E flat. Well, you might have had trouble with that because you can't really go down a fret if you're playing the open E string. So the, the trick is that you need to go to the second string. You need to find the pitch E on the second string and you all know where that E is because that E, we use that E to tune the guitar. So that E is on the fifth fret. So if this were just an E, I could have written a zero here, if it were just an E, and I could have also written a five. Both of those notes are both the same, same pitch, E. So if I want to make it flat, I can't make a zero less, but I can make this five less by one by making it a four. So if I play the fourth fret on the second string, I'm going to play an E flat. If I play one more than that, I'll get a regular E. A D sharp. Well, a D, first I ask myself where the D is. The D is on the third fret. If it's sharp, it needs to be higher. So I've got a four. Wait a second. We've got the same answer. Does that mean that, that we did something wrong? No, it doesn't. Because all of these notes that have accidentals, that's what these are called, accidentals, um, not that it happened by accident or anything, but all of these notes with accidentals have two names. They can be a note that's higher, or they can be the note that's, that's being, they can be the note on the other side. For example, a D sharp is also an E flat. One less than an E is the same as one, one higher than a D sharp. Go ahead and look at your guitar. E, E flat, D, D sharp, they're on the same fret. Okay, C sharp. Well, I know a C is on the first fret of the second string. I add one to get a sharp and I get a two. G sharp, this was a zero. I add one and get a one. A flat, an A was a two. So an A flat is also going to be one. So there we go again. We have two notes that sound exactly the same, the same note. And then an F sharp, an F was a one, and F sharp is going to be a two. Okay, 